Hey, how's it going everyone? Contentsla here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. I hope your day is going really well and let's get right into it. All right, so if you're living in the United States, I totally recognize that today is election day and it's probably an extremely stressful day for you. So hopefully I could put your mind at ease with this video because the things that I'm going to be talking about is actually really exciting for Pokemon Go and their players. So recently they announced that Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon would be available through the Wild Area event. And yeah, that's really exciting because when it comes to the Wild Area event, it's meant to be one of the big events that we have every year, including Pokemon Go Tour and Pokemon Go Fest. And I feel like a lot of players were complaining that the Wild Area event was feeling a bit underwhelming, especially compared to those other two events. And to that, I totally understand because the main thing that they're going to be introducing with this Wild Area event is the Safari Ball along with a new kind of Pokemon, along with Toxtricity as a Pokemon that you can get exclusively from Max Battles. And I feel like for a lot of players, they were looking for something more. They were looking for something that would have been more significant from a gameplay point of view. And I think that is totally well merited because if you think about the Go Tour event and the Go Fest event this year, they really knocked it out of the park with the rating content specifically. Like the Go Tour event this year introduced both Origin Form Palkia as well as Origin Form Dialga. And both of those Pokemon are incredible. Not only are they top tier raid attackers, but they're incredibly good in the Master League and a lot of players have been using them. And then on top of that, they also came with adventure effects that are actually really useful. Like Spatial Rend is really good for community days as well as special events just like this one. And then when it comes to Roar of Time, that actually makes certain items like the Daily Adventure Incense just that much more valuable. So I feel like because of that, players actually really enjoyed the Go Tour event this year, and the same can be said for the Go Fest event. Earlier this year, they introduced Necrozma along with its two fusion forms, and both of those fusions are incredibly powerful, especially when it comes to raids and the Master League. So players had a lot of high expectations for this wild area event. Even though it's the very first one that Niantic ever was going to throw, the fact that they were billing it as an event very similar to the GoFest and GoTour event, the bar was set very high for this event. And with everything that they announced, it just felt very underwhelming. And bringing in Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon definitely ups the value of this event. But I do think that for a lot of players, it may not necessarily be enough. But for me personally, I think it is enough because they already had a lot of great content that they announced, but I feel like a lot of that content was a bit overshadowed because players were just thinking about GoTour and GoFest. I mean, it totally makes sense that Toxtricity being the major highlight of this event doesn't really hype up a lot of players, and that's mainly because when it comes to max battles as well as Gigantamax battles, that's something that did not really land with a lot of players. But at the same time, I still felt like there was a lot of cool stuff that we could look forward to with this event. And yeah, they also announced that both Origin Form Dialga and Origin Form Palkia were also going to be a part of this event. And I think the addition of both Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon definitely increases the value. Like really, when it comes to Origin Form Palkia and Origin Form Dialga, I already talked about why they are significant, but also including Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, I think that is massive, especially for players who started playing over the past year. Like if you're someone who just started playing Pokemon Go, chances are you missed out on the Go Tour event of last year, and you probably do not have yourself a really good Kyogre or a really good Groudon in your collection. But the fact that we're going to be able to get Primal Energy for both of these Pokemon, as well as opportunities to get high IDs these of these Pokemon, I think that is substantial and that is something you should definitely not ignore. Getting both of these Pokemon as well as the Primal Energy to Primal Revert these Pokemon is a high priority, especially for newer players. Getting the Primal versions of these Pokemon definitely opens up a lot more raid battles for you and you will want to make sure you have a whole bunch of Primal Energy stocked up. So I really do think that when it comes to the raiding content, this is going to be an A plus event and you do not want to miss out on it. Even if you are a veteran player, it's definitely definitely worth your while. Now another addition that they announced for this Wild Area event is going to be some new hairstyles for your avatar and I'm just going to be honest with you that doesn't really move the needle for me like I really do not care at all regarding the avatar system ever since they updated it. At the very least it's going to be something for players to collect and it's going to be a unique reward but 
in my opinion, it really doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, that's an announcement that I just simply do not care about. But going back to Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, I think this is really cool. I really do like the fact that they're top loading this event with additional content that is going to be more universal. That yeah, I think pretty much every single player would like to get more Primal Energy for both of these Pokemon. And it should always be a priority to get 100% for both Kyogre and Groudon because both of them are future proof Pokemon when it comes to raid damage. So yeah, I think this definitely elevates this event to be something that is worth your money. <laughs> if you were planning to skip out on the wild area event because you just felt like it just wasn't compelling enough, I'm really wondering if the addition of Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon is going to move the needle for you. I mean, the fact that we're getting the wild area event alone is really hype for me because I really enjoyed the Go Tour events and the Go Fest events as of late. If there's anything that I'm really confident in when it comes to Niantic is that they know how to throw these large scale in-game events. And whether you're going to the in-person wild area event in Japan or you're just doing the global event, I really do think Niantic is going to do really well with this event. They've just had a really good track record of it as of late. Like, even though from a gameplay point of view, there's just a lot of things that Niantic is doing that's very unpopular, at the very least, they're doing these live in-person events really well. And you have to give credit where credit is due. This is definitely one of the strengths of Niantic, and I think they're just continuing to give themselves more opportunities to impress the Pokemon Go community. So yeah, this Wild Area event is something I'm actually looking forward to, even before the addition of Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. But I do believe that a lot of players are not going to feel the same sentiment because, like I said, even before they announced that Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon were going to be a part of this event, a lot of players were feeling very underwhelmed with this event compared to both GoTour and GoFest. But I want to give Niantic the benefit of the doubt, I want to give them the opportunity to impress me, maybe there's going to be a lot with this wild area event that's actually going to be a lot of fun and will set a lot of really cool precedents. And yeah, with the Safari Ball thing, I think that alone is definitely going to open up the game to a lot of different possibilities because in future live in-game events like with GoTour and GoFest, they could do a lot of really cool things with the Safari Ball and I'm really curious to see how that's going to turn out. There's definitely so many possibilities with this and I think it's not something you should ignore. Really, you should be paying attention to this because yeah, this could definitely be something that changes Pokemon Go for the better moving forward. And I'm all for it. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, with all that said, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts regarding the Wild Area event down below and with the addition of Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, will that actually get you excited about this Wild Area event or were you already excited about it? I would like to know all of your thoughts. And yeah, let's have a great discussion around it because this is meant to be something really big and I think Niantic is going to pull it off, but I'm wondering if people are disagreeing with me. I would really like to know. So yeah, make sure you share those thoughts and like I said, let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you ended up enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a shout out to all my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support the content of the channel, the absolute best way you could do that is always going to be by joining my Patreon. And if you become a paid Patreon member, you get the added benefit of getting a permanent spot on my in-game Pokemon Go friends list. So when it comes to remote raids and the friendship system, if you want to play Pokemon Go with me, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel in a completely different way, make sure you follow me on social media. My handle is at Conjinsula. I'm on the platforms that you see on screen and go over there and give me a follow. That would be really great. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Conjinsula, be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one.